Hi, welcome back to Wool Candles. My name is Sherry and my videos are all about candle making and the candle business. Today's video is going to be my review of 41 fragrances from Candle Science. Okay, so I'm going to try to get through 41 fragrances from Candle Science today. I do have notes down here, but not notes as to how the candles smell. They are just the names of the candles to help me keep moving through them so we can get through this rather quickly. I am going to put the fragrance notes down there on the screen. So as I'm talking about the fragrances, and these are like my opinion, like what does it smell to me? I'm trying to convey to you, like if you smelled this candle in your home or you walked in someone's house and you smelled it, like what would it remind you of it? Or at least in my own opinion. First up is uh, we have apples and maple bourbon. I'm going to try to hold these up so that you can get a look at them. Hope you can see that. Okay, so first tent. Mm, much stronger straight out the bottle so maybe we'll just do the cap definitely can smell apples and the bourbon not not so much the maple maybe just a hint but the bourbon tends to override the apples a little bit but overall it does have a really amazing smell this is one of those that I bought a lot of um, the samples. Like every time I got a chance to get a free sample, I would get these. And I was so hoping that this was going to have a good hot throw. Unfortunately for me, which I use coconut soy wax C6, and this did not give me a good hot throw, at least a hot throw that I was desiring to have from this candle. So cold throw, I'm going to say... It's a good um, eight at the cold throw, just straight out of the bottle. Um, but my hot throw for my candle, I'm going to have to go down to maybe about a seven, 6.5, seven, and that is in coconut soy wax. So all of these that I have tried in coconut soy wax, that's going to be the wax that I'm talking about. So if you're doing like a blend or you're doing um, a paraffin wax, this doesn't mean that you can't achieve a much higher hot throw or even an even better cold throw. So it's just my opinion and it's based on the wax, the candle wax that I use. Okay, so we're going to move on. So that's apples and bourbon. So moving up, we have bamboo and coconut. Okay, so let's have a whiff of this. Hmm. This is very light, very um, airy. Um, this smells like something you would smell like if you were in a spa. Mm, or maybe in not a floral garden, but um, like a eatery garden. Like if there, I mean, well, the food would probably overpower it, but just maybe a lounge area. But it's a very pretty smell. Definitely can smell the hint of coconut, um, bamboo. I'm, mm, I, there's a hint of hint of that in there. Um, but so for me, this was like a six, six point five. And in a candle, I'm not sure because I haven't actually made this candle. Okay, so moving on, we have Blood Orange. This is one of those scents where <laughs> the name alone made me almost not order it. But once I did order it and then I was able to um, have my, that first impression of the fragrance, this smells so orangey, like a deep... Um, you ever, you know, those, those oranges that are really, really deep in color and have like a reddish tint to, I mean, they, they really nail that smell very close to that. And, and it's a little sweet, not overly sweet. So the cold throw on this one is pretty amazing. It's like a 7.5 for me and it just smells so good. But unfortunately, when I made the candle, I did not get the same hot throw with this. So my hot throw for blood orange was maybe about a 6.5. And once again, if you're using a different wax, maybe you can get a better hot throw. Um, next up we have Beechwood. Okay, so first impression of Beechwood. Let's do the cap. Hmm, very beachy. I remember this candle. I didn't put all my candles up here, but I will tell you this. I made candles with this 
and the hot throw, I'm going to give it, it was, it was a good hot throw. And I don't think a scent like this needs to be like, boom, like right out the candle, but it was a nice subtle smell and it was just enough for me that it was perfect. So, but for hot throw on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, I'm going to give it about a 7.5. So that way you can kind of gauge if you're looking for something stronger, this probably would not be your candle, but it's strong enough to be one of your favorite candles. And absolutely, I love this and it's Beechwood. Okay, so next we have Clean Cotton. Okay, so Clean Cotton, I just wanted something light, airy, and fresh. And the words Clean Cotton said that to me. So when I smelled this, it was just that. It It is not like that game freshener or um, dryer sheet. It's... um. I don't know. It's 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 not quite that, but it's um just light and airy, like if fresh laundry. I don't know if any of you are on here have ever dried your sheets like on a, a an actual um clothesline and smelled your sheets with just a scent, a just a hint of scent after. But that's kind of what this smells like. Um so for hot throw for clean cotton, I give this one about an eight. It does have a really, really good hot throw. And I also give it an eight for a cold throw because when I made the candles with this, I could instantly just take the lid off, smell it like right away. And the hot throw was just, I think because it's a softer scent, um, it, it was an outstanding hot throw um, because I don't think this is a smell that I would want like really, really heavy in my house. I just want it to be light and airy and fresh, just like the name clean cotton. So definitely an eight for hot throw and definitely an eight for cold throw. Okay, moving on. Next we have coconut. I'm probably messing this up. Soleil is what I'm going to say. So I was looking for something actually to add to another fragrance that I had. I wanted a little bit of coconut. So I had ordered several different of the coconut scents. But this one, first impression, hmm. It's so funny how you can smell these fragrances and one is so, so different from the other. This, um, the coconut is there, but it's like on the, on the sweeter side. Not like the normal coconut that I usually smell, but nonetheless, it's a pretty fragrance. For a cold throw, I will give Coconut Soleil, if that's correct, a 7, seven to 7.5 out of the bottle. A high throw, I, the verdict is still out on that because I have not made these candles yet. Next, we have Coconut Lime Verbena. First impression... Definitely limey. Mm, I can't pick up, I really can't pick up anything else, but it's really, it's a it's a light fragrance. It's got like a little bit of, of a fruity smell to it, but the lime kind of um, a little bit overpowers the fruitiness, but the fruitiness still comes through. But it's a, it's a nice light fragrance. Um, for cold throw straight out of the bottle, I have to give this about a seven. So hot throw, we'll have to wait for that once I make these candles. So next we have black currant and jasmine. And you'll see my notes on there. My granddaughter Serenity actually loved this fragrance. So I put a note on there. So if I made the candle, I would remember that this is one of her favorites. So first impression... Mmm, just a nice little subtle, it smells good. It really smells good. Not very strong though. Since I have not made a candle out of this, I will rate the cold throw straight out of the bottle and I'm going to give it maybe like a 6.5, not quite a 7. And that is black currant and jasmine. Definitely smell the hint of jasmine in there. It's just a really pretty fragrance. Um, if you like something really subtle, it might work for you. Next, we have Cactus Flower and Jade. 
And this just based on the name alone, I, I couldn't wait to um, smell this. So first impression, brush out of the bottle. Oh, we still got the lid. I don't want to get oil all over me. Okay, let's see. Mmm, definitely, definitely. Um, I don't think I've ever smelled a cactus flower, but definitely like a floral scent. Maybe it reminds me of the trip I took to um, Arizona. Some of the scents that I smelled down there. Definitely a pretty, pretty fragrance. So, well, I'm going to smell one more time, okay? Cold throw, I'm going to give about a 7, 7.5. Since I have not made a candle, we'll have to wait on the hot throw for that. Okay, next up is cream, br I'm gonna say brulee, maybe? <laughs> I'm chopping, I'm gonna just go ahead and apologize for chopping up these names. Um, okay, so I have not made a candle from this, so this is new for me as well. So first impression out the bottle. Hmm. Very, I can smell vanilla. It smells almost like, like amaretto. And like cream, kind of butter. It'd be interesting to see, because I, I, I don't know what the fragrance notes, what the actual ones are in here. So it'd be interesting to see when I, what I'm saying versus what shows up on the screen for you down below. Mm, that smells good though. Okay, so cream boulet, I give it a... 7.5 um, straight out of the bottle as far as cold throw. Next, we have cinnamon and vanilla. I figure so many people love cinnamon, so many people, especially vanilla. Uh, nice cinnamon vanilla. I was thinking during the holidays from November to December and just the fall and winter months. You know, couldn't go wrong with this. So, first impression. Mm, definitely cinnamon. Cinnamony. And yeah, you can smell the vanilla. So this smells exactly like it says, which is uh, cinnamon and vanilla. So for the cold throw straight out of the bottle, I give it about an eight. Next, we have grapefruit and mangosteen, mangosteen, close enough. Grapefruit and mangosteen, that's, that's, that's going to be my shot at it. <laughs> you tell me what, if I got it right or if I got it wrong. I have not made candles with this, but I will give you my first impression. Oh, so pretty. Definitely. Mm, definitely can smell grapefruity with a little, maybe it smells like a little red fruit, maybe in the background of it. I said the, the grapefruit is so sweet. In fact, not just a regular grapefruit. Let's say it's a pink grapefruit, but definitely a beautiful smell. Okay, so just as far as cold throw out of the bottle, I definitely would give this about an eight. I like this. This was so pretty. Next, we have High Tide. This one, I have not made a candle from yet, so you're going to get my first impression straight out of the bottle. Hmm. This was, this is similar to, just a little bit similar to the clean cotton. It's, it's fresh. Doesn't really smell really beachy to me. I was hoping that, that it would. But you know, lots of times when um, we smell them out of the bottle, when you make your candle and you burn it, it's a whole different experience. So cold throw out of the bottle, give it about an eight. It was, it was pretty, um, well, maybe 7.5. Yeah. Let me do it one more time. 7.5 to eight. Yeah. This is honeydew melon. Hmm. This smells good too. Hmm. Definitely. I can smell the melon. I don't know if it's honeydew melon. It reminds me of watermelon. For me, not quite the honeydew, but more leaning towards the watermelon, but it's still a pretty fragrance. So fresh out of the bottle, uh, cold throw, I give it about a seven. Nice fragrance. I liked it. No complaints. 
Now this fragrance, even though I have a little bottle, Jamaica me crazy, I so, so wanted this fragrance to have an amazing hot throw because I love this fragrance. So just to give you my impression out of the bottle, of course, I've smelled this tons of times. It's just mm, Jamaican rum, um, strawberry strawberry daiquiris, um, everything on the beach, all those mixed drinks and margaritas and a good time. Just everything says vacation. Um, this out of the bottle, I give about a 7.5 to 8. I did make candles from Jamaica Me Crazy and I could not get the hot throw that I was seeking. I mean, you could smell them and it's a very subtle smell. For me, I needed or I wanted it to be just a little bit stronger. So I'm going to say for the hot throw on Jamaica Me Crazy, for me, it was about a 6.5 to a 7. But it's still an amazing scent. So if there's any way that you can achieve the hot throw that you are seeking with Jamaica Me Crazy, I would say go for it. You can't go wrong. I know this is very popular. A lot of people just love this. Everyone that I that comes over and I let them sample, you know, some of the fragrances and smell them. They always love this one. So if you can get that to work for you, you'll have a winner. Next, we have Moroccan Cashmere. I get excited anytime it says Cashmere. So I have not made a candle out of this. So first impression out of the bottle. Hmm. This is really nice. This is a candle. Um... It's, it's like a mild cologne, slightly, I would say it's unisex. It could go either way, slightly in the middle. Definitely, definitely can smell that cashmere smell. Um, but it's not heavy. It's light. It's a, it's a fragrance that you wouldn't mind burning often and all year round. I could just, and just relaxing in the living room. Um, this is a really nice fragrance. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to make candles with that. So Moroccan Cashmere. So out of the bottle, I give the um, scent throw about a 7.5. Next, we have Moonflower Nectar. Have not made a candle from this. First impression out of the bottle. Hmm. It's not strong at all. Very subtle. I can't pick up on exactly what this is, but it's kind of a little bit flowery, a, just a little bit. Um, I don't really smell any hints of fruit. Maybe I just smell hints of flowers. So not sure about that. Um, cold throw out of the bottle. I'm going to have to rate that about a six. So I don't know what a hot throw would be, but sometimes they surprise us all. Next, we have peppermint and eucalyptus. I just wanted something kind of healthy, something kind of, you know, if you did through the wintertime get a little stuffy nose or whatever, maybe just breathing that in would kind of, you know, make you open up and breathe a little better. So I did make a candle with this. Hot throw is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the hot throw was between an 8 and an 8.5 on this peppermint and eucalyptus. So what you smell from the bottle is... Definitely both of them. Eucalyptus just a tad above the peppermint. And maybe just a little bit of something woodsy in there. Very, very nice. I, I could see this being a spa fragrance. So very nice. I could see this when you're taking a bath in the bathroom. But it's peppermint and eucalyptus. So great hot throw on this one and great cold throw on this one. So... I should just go ahead and just give it an eight and an eight. How about that? Yeah. Next we have pink sugar crystals. I got this because I was needing a fragrance that smelled like cotton candy. Um, but for me, it wasn't quite strong enough, but I will tell you that for me, it doesn't really make it to the cotton candy smell. For me, it's more like Like a dryer sheet, like a, not bounce, but like some kind of 
I don't know. I, I don't I don't even know. I can't even guess what this is. Um, but it didn't it, it's leaning towards cotton candy, but not quite there. Maybe a little type of I don't know, sugary mint that's light in flavor, like those little ones that just melt in your mouth. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, very, very light though. So for a cold throw out of the bottle, I give this a um a 6.5 maybe and in my candle I give it about a 6.5 for hot throw because I did make candles from this. Next we have pumpkin caramel, caramel crunch and I have not made candles from this but first impression from the bottle mmm everything you ever wanted it to be definitely the caramel nutty kind of taste and sweet pumpkin and all of that together. It reminds me of like those toffee uh, crunch bars that you eat. This one's great. I haven't made one, but I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to actually having the candy. Yeah, so out of the bottle, um, the cold throw just from the bottle, I'm going to give it maybe about an 8, 8.5 hot throw. We'll have to wait and see. Next, we have Santal and Coconut. Probably another one of my attempts to get something that's coconut-ish. Have not made candles from this, so this would be my first impression out of the bottle. Mm, I do smell the hints of coconut. This one smells more beachy than the other one. This one I could see light, airy, summery, beachy, like a little bit of linen maybe. I'm not sure what the fragrance notes are, but that's what I smell. Definitely can smell the coconut though. Yeah, real beachy, light scent. So cold throw straight from the bottle, I'm going to give it about a seven. So that's not too bad. It still could make a decent candle, especially depending on what wax you're using. Next we have sea salt and orchid. Orchid, 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 what have you. Correct me in the comments. Okay, I have not made candles from this, so this will be my first impression out of the bottle. Hmm. I can definitely get a hint of the reason why they named it sea salt. It's like not your first note that you smell, but definitely like when you smell it for a second, then you you kind of hit it and then not work it. Yeah, I can I can smell the the flowery scent behind it. This is a subtle scent, not strong. Um, I give it about a seven straight out of the bottle. Next up, we have spiced honey and tonka. I always like things that have tonka. So this will be my first impression out of the bottle. Let's see. Hmm. Definitely spice. Definitely the tonka. I'm not getting a whole lot of the honey. It's just a little sweet. But overall, it's still a nice fragrance. I give this for a cold throw out of the bottle about a 7.5. I could see this being a really nice smelling candle. So I'll be looking forward to making one of those. Okay, so next up, we have two at the same time. We have vanilla eggnog. And we also have whiskey. So I have made candles with this and I made them for the holidays. They were a hit. So I already know the what I can tell you, but I'll just go ahead and describe this to you out of the bottle. Definitely vanilla eggnog. A little more vanilla than the eggnog, but still the eggnog makes its way through. Now, I did about a 30% because you have to go light on the whiskey. I'm not smelling this whiskey. I'll probably, it's so strong. I'll probably give myself a headache. But this is whiskey. So I did about a 30% and with the vanilla eggnog and it made a nice, nice holiday candle and it was a winner. So um, out of the bottle, this one is a 10 out of the bottle. 
So out of the bottle for this one is about an 8.5 and the hot throw on this candle is about an 8.5. So you can't go wrong. Next up, we have Vanilla Chestnut. And I actually, I blended this with something. I can't remember right now what I blended it with. But I have made a candle, so this does have a really decent um, hot throw to it. But first impression, well, not my first impression, for you. This is nice. This is such, if you like vanilla, and the, the chestnut is a little over the vanilla, but it's a really nice super blend, kind of a woodsy, kind of warm feel. This is really nice. And the candle, um, the hot throw from the candles that I made from this, I'm going to say that hot throw was about a 7.5 7 to an 8 for me. So I did um, really enjoy this smell. It was just, I had, I was testing it in the bathroom and, and it did. It came out down the hallway and you could uh, smell it really, really well. So that, that made for a really nice comfy kind of feel. Next, we have water mint and clementine. I have not made a candle from this. I have not even ever smelled this before. So this is definitely a first impression. Let's see. Oops, I'm just, I'm gonna have oil everywhere. Mm. A light mint. I, I keep smelling like a hint of orange in here. Definitely smell the mint and the orange that's what that's what it tells me every time yeah but still really nice um fresh out of the bottle the the cold throw from the bottle i'm gonna say it's about a seven and hot throw remains to be found out next up we have cranberry woods i have made a lot of candles with cranberry woods i love this scent so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it smells like to me. More cranberries than woods, but the woods is definitely there. Um, it smells, oh, what is the fruit? It smells like, like chocolate covered raspberries and cranberries. It's kind of what it smells like. That's what it reminds me of when I smell this. But it really, really, so out of the bottle, um, a 7.5 and also the hot throw um, from my candles was about a 7.5. For my three wicks, it moved up to an 8. Because you do know if you have a larger candle and you have more of a, a um, melt pool that it puts more fragrance in the air. So any of these that were like a 7, try them in a larger size candle. These, um, my test candles are this size here. So, and these are the nine ant oh these are the nine ounce straight jars from candle science and that's what and i go ahead and i just make the full ones because i end up burning them or giving them away to friends or i was like you know sherry you got any free samples you got any test candles you're giving away so it's just my way to give to them so that they can give me another opinion and sometimes they travel amongst three different people Okay, so Cranberry Woods, I would say this is definitely a winner. It's just a nice smell. I just want to smell it again. Mmm, it's so pretty and it's in, and that fruit just hits you, but the woods, everything hits you just right with this. I love this scent. Next is English Garden, and I did make flowers with these, but I'm going to tell you what it smells like to me out of the bottle. It smells like you just walked into someone's spring garden in their backyard and a gentle breeze just came by and gave you a whiff of every single flower in the garden. That's what it smells like. The cold throw out of the bottle is about an eight and the hot throw from my candles, I'm going to give it mm, about an eight, 8.5. Even for the small candles, it was really, really strong. So that's English Garden. Don't forget that one. If you... Next, we have Ginger and Spice. So I have made a candle from this. So my opinion on what this smells like. Mmm. Warm gingerbread. That says it all. If you like warm gingerbread, you'll love this one. So it's kind of like earthy definitely with the ginger and the spice exactly what the name says so for a uh cold throw for my candles 
I'm going to give it about a 7.5 for the hot throw. I'm actually going to give it an 8 for the hot throw, and that's ginger and spice. Makes a really nice holiday candle. Next, we have mango and gardenia, and I have made candles with this. So to describe to you what this smells like, hmm, more mango than gardenia. You get the gardenia kind of at the end, and the mango is the first thing that hits you. Not a super sweet mango, lightly sweet mango. Uh, the cold throw out of the bottle is about a 7.5, and the hot throw out of my candles is 7.5 to an 8. So this is definitely a winner, especially if you're working with soy candles and you're struggling with hot throw. There you go. I'm dropping all the hints today. All the tips on that hot throw. Next, we have rose petals. This is a scent that I bought for Valentine's Day and I have made candles with this. So out of the bottle, this is what I smell. I smell roses but I definitely smell those green leaves and the stems. And the, but the roses, of course, are the, the greatest um, scent that comes across. But roses with greenery or binary or greenery, what have you. Out of the bottle, this is about an eight. And my hot throw from my candles was also about an eight. Rose petals. Moving next to one of my favorites, <laughs> I'm, I'm really blowing these names here. Tonka and Ode. Out. I don't know how you say this. Sometimes I get it right. Sometimes I don't. When I get tired, that's when I really mess it up. But Tonka and Ode is what I'm going to say. So I had definitely have made candles with this. Absolutely love this. Everyone that comes into my house and I'm burning this, they love it. So, oh, what does this smell like? This smells like sweet, sweet woods. This smells like a very light cologne. Um, I'm going to say it's not in the middle of being masculine or feminine. It's slightly more masculine, but definitely a scent that anyone would enjoy. So definitely just a light, woodsy, sweet kind of smell. And it's slightly cologne-ish, um, but you'll love it. You won't go wrong. So the cold throw for my candles with this it's not as strong as, as you would think, but it, I, I would give it about a 7.5. But my hot throw, I'm going to give it an 8. So this is, makes it a really nice candle. Next is white sage and lavender. I have made a candle with this. So I'm going to give you my opinion of what I smell from this bottle. Definitely sage and definitely a lavender. The, la the sage... The sage hits you first, and then the lavender just kind of lingers. Um, the cold throw straight from this bottle and from my um, candle was about a 7.5. I did not get as strong of a hot throw from this as I was hoping. So for my hot throw, I only gave it maybe about a 6.5 for my hot throw. If you have gotten a better hot throw, leave me a note down in the comments below and tell me what kind of wax you used. And... Maybe the size of your um, jar or vessel that you use. Next up is white birch. I have made candles with these. This is another one that I really like. So fresh out of the bottle. Mmm. A light, woodsy, clean, crisp smell. Like you're walking through the woods and there's sticks and you're crunching them on the ground underneath your feet. And a breeze comes by and where someone has maybe cut some of the wood or, you know, cutting it down. Like it's almost like smelling from the center. Like if someone just took um, a tree and just cut it in half and you got that first whiff. This is what this smells like. Really nice smell. Really nice. Woodsy, um, light, airy, fresh. White birch. So out of the bottle, um... The cold scent just coming from the bottle, I give this about an, an eight. And my candles for the hot throw, I also give it a, an eight. We are now getting down to the bigger bottles. So I'm going to show you this. This is Persimmon Citron. And this, I'm going to, you're probably going to be surprised with my candle that I named from this, but I'm going to tell you what this smells like. 
And I, yes, and I definitely have made candles with this. To me, it's fruity. Just a, just a light hint of some kind of spice. Um, and, and orange. Orange is what I get from this. So here is my candle that is actually this. And I named it Tangerine Punch. And it smells amazing. Amazing. So the cold throw out of the bottle or even for my candle, it's not as high as you would think. I'll give my cold throw about a 7, 7.5. But when this candle burns, oh, is it ever nice. So I give it an 8 on the hot throw. Moving right along. Blueberry Cobbler is up next. Oh, this one. This is what if I had to have a, a bucket that I kept all the top hot throws in, this definitely goes in that bucket. So straight out of the bottle. Now I'm going to tell you this, when I first smelled it out of the bottle, I was, it, I mean, it's blueberries, but blueberries with a punch and the punch wasn't a good one, <laughs> but I was like, okay, well, you know, it's blueberry. So, so let me, it's, it's like a tartness that hits you after you first get that blueberry whiff. Um, so yeah, that, the blueberry is so overpowering that that's the blueberry cobbler. I can definitely see where they would get the cobbler part from, but when I made this into a candle, my candle's name is muffin man and on it, it has blueberry muffins and it was perfect. The, this coming out of the bottle is different versus what your candle's going to burn and smell like. So out of this bottle, I give this uh, fragrance throw about a nine, 9.5 probably. And my candles, oh my gosh, it's as close to 10 as I'm ever probably going to get. So I'm going to give it a 9.5 also for the hot throw out of the candle and the cold throw as well. Next is another amazing smell. This is one of the masculine smells. This is cashmere musk. And I have made a lot of it. This probably is one of my top sellers, especially for the guys. But you know, you'd be surprised you think something's masculine, but women end up loving them as well. So it just depends on what you like. But the scent first out of the bottle is, is like a cologne, musky. Um, and this is a little heavier, um, not super heavy, but heavy enough. Um, that it just it just fills your house. If you're burning this candle, it, no matter where the candle's sitting at, is if well unless you live in a mansion or something like that. <laughs> but the the scent is going to go all through your house. This is amazing. So just the well, let's just go by the candle because I actually have cashmere musk candles. The cold throw from the candle, I'm going to give an eight, and the hot throw when the candle is born burning the hot throw when the candle is burning i'm going to give a 9 to 9.5 this is has amazing hot throw so for all of you out there to say i can't get my soy candles to have a smell i can't get a good hot throw the ones that i'm telling you that have a good hot throw give them a try and i guarantee you if you're doing everything else right you'll get a great hot throw next we have cranberry apple marmalade and this was one of the fall favorites. Um, let's see. Yeah, this this would wait number two for my fall favorites for my customers. And this is just exactly out of the bottle. Mmm, sweet, sweet cranberries and apple. It is. It smells exactly like the name cranberry apple marmalade. If you've ever had that, then that's exactly what this smells like. Out of the bottle and also my candles, I'm going to give the hot throw a seven point five. And I mean, the cold throw from the candles and out of the bottle, 7.5. And for my candles, when I burn them, I'm going to give them an 8. Mm, yeah, I'm going to give them an 8 because this is not a really strong smell. So I don't think it's intended to be super strong. But an 8 is a really excellent um, hot throw for soy candles. Next up, we have my number one seller for fall, and that is strudel and spice. Again, if I had the basket that I would put all the amazing scents that have amazing hot throws, this would be in that basket. This candle here, this makes you want to eat strudel and spice. Oh, this smells so good. I smell butter. I smell vanilla. 
Mm, I smell the spices. I smell the sense of good um, fall baking and holiday baking all through the house. The, when you light this candle that you make from this fragrance, you are going to warm up your whole house with this scent. It's it's amazing. So that's all the scents that I smell. For the cold throw from my candles, I'm going to give it an 8.5. For the hot throw from this candle, I'm actually going to give it a 9. So this has amazing hot throw. Write that down. Write that down. Next, we have Honeysuckle Jasmine. And I have made candles from this. This is one of my, um, like, kind of a spring collection. And this smells um, just like it, the name. You smell, you smell the honeysuckle and you smell the jasmine. And it's not super light, kind of in the medium range. But the cold throw from the candles that I made, I give them about an eight and the hot throw I'm also going to give an eight so eight and eight for honeysuckle jasmine and it smells exactly like what the name says I think we are on the last one I also have one of my candles that to sample this this is called woodland snow this was a big hit for winter time so if someone likes woodsy pinesy this would be the scent for them so I'm just going to tell you what it smells like out of the bottle and it smells like you're walking through the woods in the winter time and several people have cut down pine trees <laughs> and the scent is blowing in the wind. It's not uh, real strong, but it's earthy and it's woodsy and it's just a really, really nice, I mean, it couldn't get any more perfect. So I'm going to show you the candle that I made from these and I call them um, Winter Woods. So that is my candle from the uh, Woodland Snow. So as if I haven't introduced you to enough candle scents today, I hope that you were able to gather some information to help you in your candle journey. I know that a lot, lot of you, a lot of us struggle with getting good hot throws. So I hope that I have helped you with that. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.